Today I'm showing you guys how to make 80s inspired beats in the style of Tory Lanes and The Weeknd. Before we get into it though, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want this FLP as well as all our other FLPs, be sure to check out the description on how to become a member. And without further ado, let's get into it. So starting off, I'm just going to run down how I made the loop. So starting off with these 80s beats, you kind of want that analog synth sound. And obviously Analog Lab is kind of your safest bet with that, but it's also not free. But there's also a bunch of free plugins that can replicate these sounds. But moving on, I had these keys that I laid down and this is the Pi I Know preset. And then after that, I added on an instance of halftime as well as a EQ. After that, I added on this Jupiter bass from Analog Lab and I added on Destructor, which is a stock FL distortion plugin, as well as a EQ to take out some of the highs. Next up I added on this Peel guitar from Labs and this is basically just like a nylon string guitar but I added a bunch of effects on it as you can see. I started off with the drip plugin from Cal Beats and I just used the drop preset. After that I added on some vintage chorus and I almost always go for this Juno 106 mode 2 and I just turned down the noise. I don't know why it doesn't turn down. After that I added on some super massive which is just a reverb and then I turned down the mix knob a bit and then lastly I added on a pretty heavy EQ curve. So this is how it sounds dry. And then this is with all the effects. So as you can hear, it doesn't even sound like a guitar anymore, but I kind of just wanted a ambient vocal in a way, and this was perfect for it. Moving on, I have an instance of contact, and this is the electric sunburst deluxe contact bank. And then I just lay down this picking pattern. After that, I added on this plug sound. I also added on some reverb, some chorus. I added on some drip again with the 808 preset, as well as a EQ. After that, I added on a sound from Surge XT. This is a completely free plugin. It's a go-to for me, and I highly suggest you guys downloading it. The sound is under the polysynth, and it's called Anthemish 3. And then lastly, I added on this pad sound. And again, I added on a bunch of effects, as you can see, as well as halftime. And most of these sounds I kind of just used to fill up the rest of the loop. As soon as I had this guitar laid down from the contact bank, I kind of knew where I was going. The rest of the loop, I kind of just wanted to fill up and give it that warm analog sound. So moving on to the drums, I started off by bumping up the BPM to 123 from 116. And I just started off by layering these two snares as well as a clap. After that, I added on these hats and an accent snare. Next up, I added on a bunch of open hats.
And then lastly, I added on this kick drum as well as an 808. And like I said before, there is a bunch of free alternative sounds that you can use for this type of beat. You can literally just look up an 80s inspired drum kit and you'll find all these sounds. So don't try and break your bank too much trying to find these sounds. And then lastly, I just added on this riser. And I also left the end of the drum pattern uh, before the drums drop, just to act as a drum fall in a way. that is everything for the beat i hope you guys enjoyed once again if you guys want this flp as well as all our other flps for our youtube videos be sure to check out the description on how to become a member once again thank you guys for the constant love and support we appreciate every single one of you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one